Today, I have the privilege of speaking with Chris Thompson from eResearch today. How are you? I'm great, Tracy. I'm holding in my hands here. You've just put out an initiation report on Silver Bullet Mines, Inc. that it looks like it's doubling already since they listed. I don't know where to start. How about you give us a couple of highlights? Well, uh, one thing I like about this uh, company, you know, it's operating in the U.S. It's always a good, safe jurisdiction and a great area in Arizona. And they're actually moving right into production. So they have enough history with the project and enough visibility from the underground workings they have access to uh, that they are setting up a mill uh, right now and hope to be in production sometime this quarter. So what you have here is a real opportunity for a company that's going to be cash flow positive uh, in the marketplace. Uh, for a silver company, which a lot of the companies right now, you know, they're still in exploration phases. It's my understanding, Chris, that you have a very unique valuation model uh, that helps you place a price target. Is that correct? Yeah, and in this case, it is correct. In this case, what that we use for evaluation models, we looked at a multiple of its cash flow. So we went through the uh, the information the company provided uh, about how the size of the mill, tons per day. Uh, you know, I did a utilization rate, you know, the, it won't run every day. Um, and then we took a, you know, we estimated a grade or I estimated a grade based on some of the historical works. Uh, and that way we could create a, a cost and cash flow um, estimate. And we use that with a multiple to come out with our valuation. And on that note, please do not tell our audience what the price target is on this because they won't believe it, and we want them to read your report, which, of course, they can get online at eResearch.com. Is that correct? That's correct, Tracy. It's available for free for download at eResearch.com. So I have a question for you. Is it too mm -hmm. late to get on because the stock has been doing amazing since they listed? No, I think there's still room to grow. I mean, right now, uh, they're at the stage where they're just coming into production. So the first sort of set of financials that come out in the next couple of quarters will sort of determine what sort of rate they can mine and, and the grade itself. And, and that is, you know, there's still some risk on that side of the equation. So I think that once, um, you know, in a couple of uh, quarters, once they're into full production uh, and they have it more in line, I think the stock will be trading, uh, you know, higher in line with uh, their results so long as they meet the expectations of the market. So I think there's still, even from here, uh, there's still uh, a room for improvement in the stock price. So the name of the report is Hyo Silver and a potential copper por porphyry for this new public company and near-term producer. Can you tell me where you came up with the title or what inspired this title? Uh, the, the history of the project, uh, the rumor is that the, 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 um, the legend of, of the Lone Ranger, the mine where the silver came from to make the silver bullets is one of the many um, projects on, on this property. They have a, the property is called the Black Diamond uh, property, and it has a, a many different um, projects on it. And that's where I was, I was using the high yo is actually the high yo silver from the, uh, the Lone Ranger. Okay, for everyone out there that would like more information on the e-research report on silver bullet mines, TSX Venture Listed, SBMI, please go to eresearch.com or email me and I'll introduce you to Chris Thompson. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tracy.